Ah, uh, you little bastard. Really trying to get in here, but I guess I have to do the Varrock Hard Diary. I knew it was something like 99 cooking, but I really wanted to see if I was able to get in. Come at me, bro. Don't fuck with the fashion skate, bro. Gotcha. Okay, so the plan right now is to actually get enough hunter levels so we can start doing chinchampas just to make a little bit of money to get going so I can buy some balls and gear. And also, I do need to get the chinchampa pet in order to get all the pets in the game. So, motherfucker, I've literally, like, these guys have dismantled my trap like 20 times. Oh, baby, I didn't know this was actually a thing, but I've guessed I've reached at least level 10 in all skills. What about... Come on, dummy. There it is, 24 experience for catching that, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot faster. We just release it, and boom, we catch another one. So we're off to the tropical wagtails. So we can now actually place two traps, which is pretty cool. We'll speed up our XP rates a little bit, but there ain't no more butterflies. Right there is 33 hunter guys, so now we can move on to kebits and speed up our XP rates a little bit more. Okay, so we reached a stage right now where we're hunting the barb tailed kebits, and all you have to do is literally pick this trap here because there's trees around it, and you just set it up and wait for the rock to come, and I guess it squishes them. Let's see if one goes in. I guess one doesn't want to go in right now. We get 168 XP each. I guess this is like the worst part of Hunter is doing this. I really don't mind it, and I'm actually enjoying it too bad, and that motherfucker just dismantled my trap. There's 40 hunters sliding right in there. Right here we have actually gotten a level 43 hunter, which means we can actually go over and do falconry now for a bit faster XP rates. I'm pretty sure I could have did a different style cabinet, but I just did this from 33 all the way to 43. It took a few hours, but it really isn't that bad, guys. I've used to scale back in the day, and I've actually been enjoying it quite a lot recently, and I want to like mix it up and do a bunch of different skills so I really don't get bored of one, but I'm sort of like the type of guy that like grinds something extremely hard, and if I get out of it, it's sort of hard to get back into it. But I really want to have a little bit of variety in this video. Instead of me just doing literally Hunter the whole way until like 80 or something in one video, that'd be quite repetitive, so I'm really not going to do that. So we're probably going to get up to like 50 Hunter or so, maybe some sort of milestone, and we're going to head on over and do a bit of cooking, fishing, or maybe fletching. Okay, so there's honestly always people here in these spots. Like, literally, I don't know what I'm going to do if I want to come and try to catch red chins, but I think I might go for 99 right through black chins. Maybe that'd be the most effective, unless I can, like, hop around and find, like, different spots, but I'm pretty sure it's full, like, everywhere. So we're going to go, and we're going to do a workout right now. We're just going to jump and spin and uh, do a bunch of emotes, get our guys some strength levels. Just kidding, we can't get strength for a range tank. So after we ended up getting the 43 Hunter over at the Kevitz, we decided to take our try over at the Falconry area. I seen a guy that has had to do Falconry from 43 to 59 Hunter, and from what I noticed, I am so fucking glad I did not actually do that, but we did stay here for a good amount of time. It took quite a few hours to get from 43 to 53, I think is the last level I did here. I highly suggest you should go over and do Orange Salamanders as soon. Right there you can see Orange Salamanders at 47 Hunter. I highly suggest if you were going to do Hunter from the starting level, to go right to orange salamanders because it is super click intensive you doing the falconry method and really not chill at all literally your xp rates are determined on how like intense and how much paying attention you're doing and to me i really like to just chill watch two youtube videos and whatnot and just grind out some stats So we just got 53 Hunter, and I actually thought the Red Salamanders was closer than this. I cannot stay here until 59. The XP really isn't that fast. I mean, it wasn't that bad at first. Once now I'm in, like, the 50s, the XP is, like, absolutely terrible. The only cool thing about it is I got a motherfucking Falcon on my arm. Look at that thing. He's like, yo, I'm about to strike. So what that actually means is that we're going to hop on over to Orange Salamanders, hopefully we get faster XP there. The Falconry wasn't too bad, just super click intensive, might be a little bit more chill over at the Orange Salamanders. So what I've actually done is went and bought 5k raw lobsters, they've actually gone down a whole lot. So it wasn't really that expensive, it cost me about 700ish k to buy all of the lobsters. But we're going to head over to the Rogue's Den, which you guys can see me at right now. We're just going to do a little bit of chill cooking. I really don't want to waste any XP, but if you look at this one, i got 5,000 raw lobsters. It says it's 730k. 
Uh, right now I am 70 cooking and I do have the cooking gauntlet so I shouldn't burn any lobsters at all. I know the next thing that I should cook is swordfish possibly, maybe monkfish, I'll have to watch a guide. I watched a guide earlier but it's definitely, I don't know, I lost track of exactly what to do. I know you do lobsters though at this level. I could do wines but I really don't want to do that right now, I just want to chill. It's really good if you do a really quick intensive skill to just go and do something really chilled out like cooking keeps you on track and doesn't really burn you out necessarily because I literally just went hunting for like eight hours straight right here is a brand new cooking level got that 71 one more closer to 99 we're actually at 1492 total eight more levels to go and we hit that nice little 1500 another one DJ Khaled style got the 72 cooking and now we can do the eels we can dissect them I'm pretty sure you can get Zolra scales from them I think that's exactly what it is but I'll show you guys right here how many I've cooked so far just chilling almost 1.3 K lobsters which isn't too bad it feels like it's going pretty quick to be honest getting those two cooking levels wasn't too bad at all I'm actually watching other youtubers right now I like to watch a couple of the smaller youtubers and just see what they have to offer and see if any of them have any serious potential and maybe Maybe I would give them a couple pointers or something like that, in my opinion. Not saying I'm like the biggest YouTuber ever, but I don't know. I just like to help somebody who's a little bit smaller than me. Just give me a little bit of help. You guys know how it is. And here it is. 73 cooking has been achieved. As you can see right up there, I've cooked about 2.1 thousand fish, just about. So not too bad. I've been cooking for like an hour and a half or so. It feels like, I mean, I don't have a timer going or anything, but really isn't that bad of a skill to train. Okay, so it's the next day over right now, and there it is, 74 cooking, one more level, and we got a nice little 75, back to the total level, 1495, five more to go, but we're actually going to take a little break from cooking, and head back over to do some hunter, and come back to cooking when we want to just chill out, because I'm really in a mood that I want to do some click intensity, no, I'm just kidding, I just really want to get some hunter levels and try to get at least 63 today, so I can start hunting the red chins, and we'll go right over here to, I think it's box trap, right, yeah, box traps, and you can see right there red chinchampas at 63. I'd really like to get that and I can't wait till we can hit the black chinchampas and make some straight up bank even though they're both bank but I don't have the personalized area so I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna go but hopefully well. So we made our way over to the orange salamanders. I've been here for a few catches already and the XP is twice as much per salamander that it is catching one uh, kebet in falconry and look at that I just double caught these look I'll show you guys an XP drop 224 XP from one orange salamander it's pretty crazy and this is actually a lot more chill the falconry like almost I was constantly dropping shit and always having to click if my bird missed I had to wait for the bird to run back and all that stuff it was really quite annoying I didn't think it was that bad but compared to this it's far better like this is just chill so we checked out the orange salamanders, and these motherfuckers are chill AF, guys. You just chill out. They knock down your nets a little bit, but it really isn't that bad. The XP rates were so much better than compared to Falconry, where it's super click intensive and not chill AF. And you guys know how it is. We like the Netflix and chill. But I just wanted to show you guys here just some of the levels up and whatnot and express my plan a little bit. Right now, I'm going to go for 99 Hunter right away so I can buy max bossing gear. Oh, well, range max bossing gear. Gear. and we can start bossing for a little bit more cash and continue on the pet grind. I also want to continue scaling just to keep me interested in the game. I felt like I sort of drifted away from the game when I just all I did was PK and whatnot and I didn't really enjoy making my content as much but I do really enjoy making the scaling content it's definitely something new and fun. So right here I showed you guys that I actually did get um, my water skins and film up. Here's the moment of truth we are about to get 59 hunter and you guys know what that means we can now do red salamanders which definitely definitely increases the xp rate that i get per hour and it'll speed my way right up to 63 i think we're actually going to go and start catching red chinchampas at 63 i feel as if that'd be the best way like the best plan to do it since i am going for the chinchampa pet so i might as well as go and do that right off the bat and also make a little bit of money from that as well orange salamanders really weren't that bad and i'm glad i switched to do salamanders instead of doing falconry all the way over to 59. 
we're over at the red salamanders now. I'm not really sure how much faster the XP will be here. I was told it was a lot faster than orange salamanders. Hopefully, maybe like the rate that I catch them is quicker, but I'm only getting about 50 experience more per salamander. And I can only use three traps still as well. I know there's a fourth trap over there, but my hunter level is too low. I already tried putting it over there. I'm not exactly sure what level four traps is. Maybe 60. That might be. Let's actually look right now. Let's go over to, what would it be here? Tracking, deadfall, there's gotta be something that tells you how many. Here we go, traps, okay? So at level 60, I'm thinking, yeah, 60. So the XP rates probably go up when you hit level 60, but for right now, it's really not that much more of an increase. Slightly though. 60 Hunter coming in strong. Shout out to Why Not Google, and right there is that 60 Hunter, any cool things? Yeah, oh yeah, four traps. Awesome, now we can speed up our XP rate probably by like 25%. Not exactly sure how active that trap is over here, but I'm not really too like, I don't know, I'm not too fond of doing these red salamanders. They knock my traps over a lot. But also shout out to Why Not Google, like I said before, but he just came and gave me a 100,000 kebab, which I guess is my new collectible item. I know a lot of different YouTubers have their like certain item, and I guess kebabs are going to be mine. So thanks for the 100k kebabs, man. It's pretty sick, actually. If you'd like to give me any kebabs yourself, uh, you could just join the CC or anything like that and just hit me up. But I'm not really too worried about it at all. Just something cool to have. Here is actually 61 Hunter, which means two more levels to go to we unlock anything cool. No, nothing special at that level, just a little bit closer to our 63 goal. Right here is 62 Hunter, coming in pretty strong. One more level to go, guys, and we can finally go and start hunting some Red Gym Champas. I think once I hit 63, though, I may go try a little bit of Red Chance, maybe for like a level or so. But I really want to go and get 75 cooking knocked out. And I'm also thinking about going and doing a bit of Chaos Fanatics so I can attempt to get the Chaos Elemental Pet. I know it's not really qualified as that good of a pet, but it is still a pet that I need to get on my list and something that I would love to knock out of the way. And right there guys is 63 Hunter, the level we've been waiting for, the level we've been looking for, and the level we've been grinding for late days. Before we jump into doing a little bit of Red Champas, I feel like I should show you guys the XP rates I was getting. It says 59.3k, but I did peak at like 62k XP per hour, and that is like literally like super intense clicking, and just sitting there and clicking, 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 clicking. And did I say clicking? Yeah, so that's pretty much what we did. It wasn't that bad, and I actually enjoyed it, because it was definitely the grind that I liked. I missed this type of grind. I'm so glad that I got into scaling, because I'm enjoying it, guys. I really, really am enjoying it. So right now, we're going to actually go and buy some box traps, and we're going to go try out Wretched Chapos for the first time. So this chin right here shall be... The level, level 64 hunter and it took approximately 144 chins. No, we have not gotten the pet yet. What the fuck, man? We should have got the pet in the first chin. Just kidding. But yeah, we're going to continue doing this. The only thing is there was this one guy who came and like tried crashing me. And a lot of these chins like dismantled my traps. You've just seen it's a little annoying. It took me uh, a good amount of time actually, like close to an hour to get that level. Like I was getting like 52k XP per hour or so. And now I've been like getting terrible luck. So that guy came and like tried crashing me and stuff. I dropped down to like 40k per hour. So I was getting a lot more experience per hour actually doing the red salamanders method but that's really fine because I am making money this way and it just keeps me like motivated to grind doing chins knowing the fact that every single chin that I catch could potentially be the pet okay so right here is actually gonna be 75 cooking you decided to take a break from hunter and snag up this cooking level just because like I said before you want to keep that variety and the only way we're gonna be able to do this for the long run is just to keep variety and not literally camp one thing completely although I am gonna end up racing my friend in 99 hunter which I am gonna grind for but that's a little bit of an exception because I really want to get the money as soon as possible so I can start making different types of content that pretty much goes with PVMing. without the gear and stuff I really don't want to buy they're doing Slayer and Bossing because it really won't be as efficient. So in that fact, we are 1507 total level, which means we've got a whole shitload of total levels this video so far. I really want to try to finish it out doing something pretty cool. Maybe finish up my Graceful set because I do in fact have like 40, maybe 50 Graceful points or Marks of Grace. Like pretty much 
just sitting in my bank and they've been sitting in there for a long time and I'd really like to finish up my graceful set because it will do nothing but come in handy and also be a really really awesome tool for when I start farming. So we're just chilling like a motherfucking villain and here we go we got that 76 cooking actually right now what we're doing is editing up this brand new video and just seeing what the clips look like seeing how they are together and seeing if it's like quality like when I start making like max range tank videos I honestly want like serious quality videos and not just a bunch of bullshit put together because I don't know I mean I really 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 want to get out the frequent uploads but if I do this series it's definitely going to take a little bit more time to make because I really don't want to just upload anything half assed but at the same time there's about 5k lobsters cooked which means we're gonna have to go and buy more but I think we can actually move up to swordfish scratch that boys I just actually checked out the guide we're cooking lobsters to lady here's the moment of the truth the moment we've all been wondering the moment we've been waiting this whole video for and that's to see if we made a profit or lost money cooking these 5k sharks we probably lost money and it's pretty Decent, I guess. I mean, the XP wasn't that bad. Like I said, like 150k XP per hour. Drumroll, please. -na 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 -na. Did we make money or did we lose money? Oh, wow. We actually profited cooking these lobsters. No way. I thought I was actually going to lose money cooking lobsters. I always thought raw lobsters were more than cooked. But we made... Hold on. That's 835k. It says it's going to sell for. We'll go back to the history. Wow, we made close to 100k cooking those lobsters. Not too shabby. Yes, indeed, I did actually say sharks instead of lobsters in that last clip. You guys know what I meant, though. Feel free to roast me in the comment section below. But in other terms, we actually have 49 marks of grace. And the only two pieces left that we do need is actually the boots and the cape. And currently, as you guys can see right here, they're both 40 marks of grace each. So we can actually buy one right now, which means that we would only need one more piece after that to actually like have the full set guys which is pretty insane I didn't think I was that close they're a little bit more but I guess they aren't we have the gloves the legs the body and the top so actually I'm gonna go and I think I'm gonna buy the cape or the boots then in the eeny meeny miny mo your mother's got a stinky toe which one should I pick because I don't care Okay, so Graceful Cave is the one that we just bought, and we bought it. And that <laughs> oh, wow, we got a brace. We got a fucking Graceful. A Braceful, Braceful. We got a Graceful Cave, boys. As you can see right there in the chat box, we did end up getting 71 agility, and we are also 8 tokens off of finishing the full set. One of the reasons why I actually went and got the tokens for the full set is because I was like 53k or so away from my agility level, and I really wanted to just snag that up, and it looks pretty nice getting another agility level, putting us at 1509 total level. If you happen to give a fuck what CC I actually chill in, I chill in Boom Epic K Zero CC, which actually is my 60 attack peer's name. It's actually a really cool and chill CC. It used to have a lot of people in it, but like a lot of you guys knew, know I went a little inactive, and some of the people like stopped coming in or quit RuneScape or whatever. But there's still a lot of really, really, really cool people. Special shout out to DOA Arcane for sticking in here all the time. A Millie. Shout out to you guys on Feasible. There's a lot of guys in here that are always in here and they've never left no matter what. They've always had my back. True, true friends right there and true shout out to you guys. So if you're looking for a really awesome CC that you'd like to chill in, make a home. I don't want somebody that's just going to join the CC and leave right away. Someone who's going to make a home in the CC and actually make friends and have a really good time. There it is, guys. We ended up completing our graceful set. We got the 40 marks of grace that we needed to buy the boots. Let's go buy them shits. Here we go, it's time to buy the brand new boots and finish off our graceful set. There it is guys, full graceful has been officially achieved. Let's go and check this out in the, in the thing, see how much it negatives. Negative 21 with all this shit in my inventory. Pretty cool guys, we got the gloves, boots, legs, top, the hood, the cape, everything. Completely full graceful, which actually, for those of you guys who do not know, it does in fact give 30% run boost whenever you're wearing the full set as a full set effect, which is pretty cool that we got that. And actually, we're actually 40... What? Actually, actually... 
Actually, yeah, we're 54k away from another agility level, which we might actually go and snag that up today. I didn't really mind doing the agility. I was thinking, like, if I do, like, one hour of agility per day or something like that, it'll add up slowly but surely, because I really don't want to grind straight to 99 for agility. I feel as if that'd be definitely very, very tedious and not really too rewarding. I mean, you make, like, 30 mil off the marks of graces, but other than that, I really wouldn't want to do something like that so with the full graceful being purchased being achieved and just getting it done with i am going to end the video there i really hope you guys did enjoy this style of video and really depending on the ratings and the views and stuff that i get will be like your guys's responses are going to decide if i continue making this series or not i mean obviously i'm going to continue doing it in the long run but i want to like it, it like I have to be able to dedicate my time somewhere if it's me either dedicating my time doing this series or if it's me dedicating my time doing more PK related stuff. But eventually I will run out of ideas for PK commentaries so I really have to do something that is going to last and be very conservative with the content that I do upload. I know that does take me a little bit longer to actually upload the videos in this manner since I took me about two and a half days or so to gather up all the clips you guys are seeing when I can just make a PK commentary in under an hour. So it's definitely something I've got to think on and just like I said really depending on your guys's like approval if you guys enjoy this better than seeing consistent well, I mean, obviously, I'm going to do consistent, like, PK commentaries and stuff like that. I've got to balance it out between doing work on this and making PK content. Because I know a lot of you guys love that PK content. And I may be talking a little bit right now, but just a lot of my mind on what I'm going to do with the channel, how I'm going to pretty much approach it. And I've, like, messed up a few times. I really don't care. I'm literally just chilling, laying down right now on my bed, talking, and playing RuneScape, and just chilling out completely, watching YouTube videos on the other side. I literally just, like, watched YouTube videos while I did agility and stuff like that, just to make it go by a little bit faster. So for the next episode, so we're probably going to tackle on more Hunter and do a bunch more skills and probably get into a bit of bossing. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to tap that thumbs up. Shows me you like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.